Hey guys, um, here's a little game of either, or in other case, would you rather, to just see how much of a horror per person I am or what I actually do prefer. The reason why I'm taking this type of game right now is because I'm not feeling really well and I'm running a very nasty fever and I'm pale as a freaking sheet and I already know that even I have two layers of makeup on, it doesn't work. So, unfortunately. And I also wanted to be kind of clear with some things that I actually happened throughout this week. So let's just get to it because it's a good game to actually use for um. And now I'm going to try and find out where you actually start the game. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Ah. Oh, you just had to press on the next one. Duh. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, there's been some things happening this week which has actually resulted in a lot. And I've been sick. <laughs> really sick, actually. So, um, would you rather have holes put through your hands and feet via, via nails and hammer? Go 40 days in the desert with a... Okay, um, this, <laughs> the fuck, so do you rather want to be hanged up like Jesus, uh, or is it just like the whole, like in the, 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 the horror movie holiday where they took Easter rabbit had like his hands and the chicken came out of it and. I'll go 40 days in the desert for that food. You wouldn't survive 40 days in the desert. I think the approximate is like 20 days with liquid only and then you actually die because you don't have the nutrition. As far as I remember. You can't correct me on that one. I'm not actually a biologist or a biology teacher. But... I'd rather die... I'm, I'm a furry. I wouldn't die starving. Rather than live through the pain of having holes in my hands and feet. Apparently, only 45% of the population agree with me there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But you wouldn't survive without food for that long. You wouldn't even... You wouldn't survive long with only liquid. Or only water. On the other hand, if you have coke and all that, you like, not the sniffing kind, but the drinking kind, uh, you get nutrition, but you will not get enough. So, I don't know. Smoothies are not liquid, as far as I remember. It's just food. So, I don't think you can actually cheat on that one. Uh, but yeah, um, one of the things that happened this week was... Uh, I might have to move out. I'm... Because my study license has not been approved, or it has not been extended, at least, to 2018. So I have to move out within summer of next year, and with me having kitties, it can be quite a doozy finding a rental apartment that actually allow pets in a bigger city. So I'm actually searching for apartments since, like, Monday. Might have found one already, but I'm not um, the first in line for it. It has already been reserved for... Okay? Always take cold showers and never feel anything cold. Hmm. I will always like cold showers because I like cold. <laughs> I never feel anything cold. Trust me, that's not even funny. Like, if you always always heat it, like mean like, warm meter when you sleep next to him, you are like instant like forty degrees Celsius. It's kind of like ugh. <laughs> if you can't feel anything cold, you can only feel the warmth of stuff. I can understand the cozy warmth. But the burning wolf, no, 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 no. I'd rather have cold showers. Be a polar bear, as they called it. Polar bear bathing, something. Viking, I think it's called it being a Viking in Denmark. Whee, jump in the water. Anyway. But yeah, I've been looking for apartments for... Since one day, which I already said, and... I already found one, which is not very far from here, where I live right now. Uh, but I think I'm the second in line for that one, so if the person doesn't, the person is reserved for it doesn't want it, 
I might actually get an apartment very early. Which would actually be perfect, but that then I have to move, and then I'll take a lot of time on that, unfortunately. The other thing is, obviously, yeah, I've been sick, so it's... <sighs> it's been a doozy, and my brain has going like... And it often does that when I have running fever. Have a current pet live as long as you do. Bring a past pet back. Oh. Now, now here's kind of a dilemma because um, I would like to um, really have the Boris, one of my cat, the one that's actually sleeping. Oh no, he's not there anymore. Anyway, I would actually like to have the Boris live as long as I do because he's been a companion of mine for the last like ten years now. So he's getting old. On the other answer, I could bring Athene back to life, which died this year. And make my mother happy. Because it was her cat. Slightly mine and hers. So it's kind of like, oh goodness gracious. That one is a hard one. And sad at the same time, because now I started thinking about the Athene, which is really hard on me. I will bring Athene back to life, because it will not only help me, it would also help my mom. And I really loved her. Uh, yeah, I know that probably many would love to have their current pet as long as you could. But when you had a past cat that always were there, or a past pet that was always there for you. Like Boris is now though, actually, but one that was always there, but suddenly it was just not, she had a stroke. So I'm a little easier talking about it now. Oh. Would you rather attend one or two? Only the one of the two to go to the to go to the Eh. Would you rather? Super Bowl or World Cup Final? Well, none of them are really Danish things, <laughs> so... Uh, World Cup is football, right? And here it actually suggests that I'm not a sports person. Uh, the sports I actually enjoy is sailing and um, swimming and shooting ranges with, cro with, uh, with arrows with bows. So that's actually what the sports I do. Sometimes with light rifles as well, but there's no shooting range near where I am and there's no purpose for me to know how to use a gun, since I don't really want to shoot anything. I'm just going with the World Cup because, or World Cup final because I'm pretty sure that's football and I don't know if Super Bowl is something we actually do in Denmark. Sorry Danish people if you're sporties and we actually do! Okay, no, no. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> anyway, let's see here. Would you rather pay to see a female comedian? Be paid the same amount. <laughs> well, <clears throat> uh, actually, if it's Kathy Griffin or the late Joan Rivers, I would actually have loved to go to see those, but they are still in America, so I can't see them. <laughs> But, I think actually I would want to see a female comedian because they're actually not that bad. They usually just pay on the... F when you see a female comedian that don't always pay play on the female card, actually do male jokes, they don't actually fall well, if you know what I mean. But when they play their stick, or their spe specific thing, a lot of Danish co da female comedians actually do. Do not play in the female card or the male card. They kind of make their own thing and it's really weird and really dark-sided. Because we have dark humor in Denmark, I love it! <laughs> but yeah, um, I think I would pay to see a female comedian if it was of my choice. And I, was actually, I would actually love to see Kathy Griffin. Even though she basically just talks about TV shows. <laughs> but I think I could be very entertained. I kind of enjoy them on the YouTube ones, so... Uh, okay, there was just the commercial uh, down below that was really annoying and blasting my ears off, so I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. Um, 
and I kind of got thrown off by the quote he quotes. Cletus or Rusty. I say would like to be called Rusty. The kind of cool name. <laughs> it's a guy's name. Eh, but I don't care. I want to be named Rusty. I can't remember what the Cletus is. It's, it's actually probably Latin of some sort. Okay, would you rather? Death by freezing in Antarctica? <laughs> or death by walking through Sahara? Well, technically, if you walk through Sahara during night, you will still freeze to death. Deserts are really cold during the night. Because the deserts are only hot because they reflect the heat of the sand. Or the sand reflect the heat of the sun. When the sun is not there, it's freezing cold. So it's either hot warm shower or only <laughs> only really freezing cold. Um... But hypothermia, um, as far as I remember, you go numb and you just stop breathing. You sleep in, kind of. But I know there is a... <laughs> and as far as I know, there's kind of time of so being in pain. Uh, and now I have a Katy Perry song in my head because the hair is both hot and cold. <sighs> really? Why do guys... I, I got so... I got song bombed right now. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Um... Oh, that's a difficult one, really. Goodness gracious. Um. Well, I I think I would like the challenge of death by walking through Sahara. <laughs> because I'll probably die throughout the first night in <laughs> Sahara. You'll still be freezing to death, but hey, you you might actually, even though it's death. Well. <clears throat> Yeah, I think one of my friends put that one in, just in case I would ever play this game. Because, no, I'm not a dwarf, uh, but I'm close to, no, um, I'm only 162 meters tall, maybe 65. So, basically, if I'm born without one third of my legs, I would be a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Um, and people already call me Gimli, <laughs> so it's kind of like my friends call me Gimli for some reason. <laughs> Very tall people, I friend be friends, so <laughs> I'm like all my friends are like me, and then <laughs> uh, I'm not on the Danish margin of of height <laughs> at all, <laughs> so. Uh, I think I say it could be funny. Um, there would be struggles. Well, there would be struggles with both of the parts, actually. Physical struggles. Because if you're born with only three your legs, but you have the uh, normal size of your torso and rest of you, you would actually have weight issues. Not weight as in big issues, but um, you might actually have spinal problems and other stuff. Due to the fact that your legs might not be able to carry you. Well, as being a dwarf, it's kind of equaling almost everything out. So it's kind of equaling it out. I want to be a dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Why well, am I too serious about this? No. <laughs> no. Be sick for the rest of my life. I already am. So I'm going to put that on. Kill two puppies. Fuck no. <laughs> No, 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 I'm too much of an animal friend, and I'm actually sick for the rest of my life due to my lung problems and such, so, hey. It doesn't matter. I'm actually physically sick for the rest of my life. Not a deadly illness, but just annoying illness. Anyway, would you rather work for Apple and know all their secrets? Work for Google and know all their secrets? Well, which one is worse? It's kind of like, you know all the secrets and you can use them? Or know all the secrets and you're not allowed to tell? Like, don't ask, don't tell kind of thing, or... I don't know. I got too occupied by the game to actually talk updates, so... <laughs> this is kind of... That's why I don't make updates when I play games, because I usually get carried away by the game, even though it's just a click and point and click and whatever. Uh, I'm not really an Apple freak. I kind of like the design, 
So if I could actually somehow program a regular computer with the setup and such on a regular computer, like a Windows computer, Linux computer, whatever, if I could program that to work that way, so I can actually get I author on my computer. Since I don't have an Apple computer, no. So that could be... They didn't say you couldn't use their secrets to your advantage, so I would take the Apple one. <laughs> I know that Google have a very big search thing, and you can probably use that. But I, I, I am a, I'm a technology freak. I don't know much about it or how it works, but I like it. <laughs> Trust me. I'm a little dimple when it comes to that. Anyway. A manure a urine. Is this a farm joke? Seriously? <laughs> um, technically, um... Do we... Can we ask which kind of manure? Or which kind of urine? <laughs> Because if it's chicken, or I'll smell of the urine, because chicken shit smells like... <laughs> I worked at a chicken farm. <laughs> no, never again. Like, it was, it was really bad. Uh, and I know cow manure is... Uh, pig manure is not good. No kind of urine is good. It's kind of like, are we going animal feces right now, or are we going human? I'm kind of missing details here. I mean, <laughs> God. oh my goodness gracious. Arr. Um, yeah, that's really interesting. Do birds actually pee? I don't think they do. <laughs> um, okay, that was unpleasant. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, well, urine can have anything from a slight scent to a big scent. Well, manure is something that's maybe been around for a little while and it doesn't smell nice. But urine can be subtle. Not the morning one, but just regular. It can actually be kind of subtle, so... You can just wear kind of a lot of perfume. Which I am allergic to, but hey, never mind. Um, I think this is going to be the last one, and then I will be talking off. Uh, so basically, um, so basically, in short terms, I am currently looking for an apartment, trying to get better, uh, physic or like health wise, and trying to make a work schedule because, actually. I went to my first classes last week, and it was so entertaining. I love my new classmates, I love my teachers, I love the subject. However, it takes a lot of time. Uh, it's not only the schedule hours, we actually have a lot of more hours we have to do. And next week I'm going to be so much filled to the brimful stuff I have to do to make up for the time I actually didn't ma manage to do this week because I've been sick. And... Example-wise, I have to make a sculpture, <clears throat> and I have approximately six hours to do that on Monday, and maybe a little time Wednesday, <laughs> and that's not enough time. Anyway, um, a zombie horde has just broken into the f zombies. Ugh! I hate zombies. Oh, rather, I zombie is actually a good interpretation of the zombie spectrum, but I'm watching too much series when I'm sick. When you're sick, never go on for Netflix because you start watching a lot of other series that you normally don't watch and then get addicted to them. Anyway. The uh, zombie horde has just broken into the farmhouse where you and six other survivors were hiding. Would you rather run upstairs and barricade the second floor? Or sequester yourself in the cellar. I actually, that's a new word. I have to check that out. That's a word I haven't seen before since it's not my first language. So I'm guessing it's sequester. I'm not sure. So basically, it's either you're locked in the cellar or you're locked in the, on the second floor. If you jump from the second floor, you're probably gonna die or break something so you can't run away. 
if you barricade yourself in the cellar, if it's one without windows, it'll be very dark. Uh, how good are the doors? <laughs> that's that's probably my first answer. It's kind of like a horde that's maybe 10 or 12 zombies and six other survivors. So it's seven in total. No weapons, no nothing. We just have to figure out if we're going to run to the cellar or we are going to run to the second floor. And I have a lot of movies going through my head now with zombie movies where people run to the second floor and ki get killed. <coughs> no one to the cellar, actually. There's a lot of games and series where they hide in the cellar, barricade themselves, like metal doors, whatever. No windows, no nothing. Just really dark cellar. You don't know if there's actually somebody in the corner actually just waiting for you not to look. But yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, basically, if it's an open cellar, like there is a way out from the cellar, you will not get damage from... It then, it got, again, it does really depend on the horde size. Again, I'm missing details here. Because it's like, if it's a horde of ten, they all go into the house, probably, because there's space for them. And if you go to the cellar, and you jump out the cellar window, you can all run away. Or escape, or whatever. Or lock them into the house, and lock everything, and then burn the whole thing. Whereas if you barricade yourself on the second floor, and you jump out of the window to survive, you'll probably break something, or die. Which is both not a good thing. <laughs> so I will go to the cellar. Maybe. And here I tried, I, I thought I was smart. I guess I wasn't that smart. Or else I was very smart and survival minded, I don't know. Anyway, this has been actually kind of fun to play. Uh, might actually do another one of these. Uh, <clears throat> oh, goodness gracious. And <laughs> until I get better, and hopefully I get better by tomorrow, I'm not sure if I'm going to be, but... Um, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I, I, my, my brain has gotten an eternal, because it's fever time. <laughs> it's not hammer time, it's fever time. <laughs> so, until next video, I hope you guys take care and have a fabulous gay, because mine is slightly annoying at the moment. So, yeah. See ya.